American League action. Athletics baseball as Oakland goes up against the Toronto Blue Jays. And let's send things out to Gary Thorne, who is in Toronto and ready to call the game. He is part of every defensive strategy trying to get him out. Jose Bautista, they'll try and deal with him today. The tradition of Sunday Night Baseball. Welcome, everybody. 2K Sports on Major League Baseball. And the fans here tonight at Rogers Center glad to welcome their ball club onto the field. The starting pitcher will be Josh Johnson. So, Steve, got to be conscious of key things. What are those things in this Oakland lineup? Well, for Josh Johnson, the ability to locate the fastball is critical. He's got to move it around the zone because he doesn't have exceptional movement on the pitch. So he's got to locate it where he wants and then go to that slider and go to the changeup. Here's the lineup for the A's. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, it's amazing what happens when a guy gets a chance to play. And Josh Reddick, once he got traded, had got that opportunity to be an everyday player, and he didn't disappoint, putting up huge numbers. The leadoff hitter, Coco Chris, to get us going. Johnson with a windup. Looks at a first pitch curveball in there for a call strike. Well, the hitting coaches will tell you that if you stay back on the curveball, you've got a chance to put it in play. But with that kind of movement, it makes it very, very difficult to get a base hit. On the way. And he leaves that one alone. Coco Chris, patience, evens the count. Career, 0 for 3 off Josh Johnson. Back up the middle. Hello, he got that. He got the glove in front of him and somehow made the catch. Probably saved his life. What a play by the pitcher right there. He should have seen it. I think he had to close his eyes to make that catch. Now we'll take a quick look at the Blue Jays and their defensive alignment. Highlights, John, from these fielders. Well, if you want to see a great athlete roaming around in the outfield, keep your eye on Colby Rasmus. Easy strides. Doesn't look like he's running hard. Doesn't look like he's playing hard. But don't let that fool you. He covers a lot of ground with those strides. He has a great throwing arm from center field. And he's also a very accurate thrower. You love having him on your team. Great one. And that's in there. Johnson ahead 0-1. Well, 2012 was a solid bounce back year for Josh Johnson. Coming back off injury. Finished with a 3.81 ERA. He pitched better than his record, 8 and 14. Certainly much better after the All Star break. That'll be strike two. No balls, two strikes now. Seth Smith will be watching to make sure he doesn't get K'd here. And perhaps the most important stat last year, talking about Josh Johnson was a zero, as in zero to the DL, stayed healthy for the first time, John. And that's huge. And, and you know, everyone says he's an ace. He's a number one starter. But like you said, Gary, he hasn't thrown that complete season. Wow. So you can't really throw him up there with the top pitchers in the game. When he's right, though, his stuff says he's a number one. But let's see him go out and do it for 30, 33 starts, and then we can compare him to the best. It's in there. Strike three. Seth Smith unable to pull the trigger. He just overpowers him with a fastball up and away right there. He didn't even think about swinging. And Cespedes is in the box. His career average and even 300 against the Jays. Johnson with a windup. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. This one to Bautista. And that's going to do it in this half inning. And a quick inning for Josh Johnson. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. So it'll be the Toronto Blue Jays, bottom half of the first. And Jared Parker is the pitcher. He's starting for Oakland. 
Steve, he's facing that Toronto lineup today. What is he thinking about? A good right-hander on the mound in this one. And if he executes the scouting report against this lineup, it shouldn't be too difficult for him to come up with the outs necessary to come away with a win. Here it comes. And it's 0-2. Reyes is going to be swinging at anything close. Just couldn't catch up with that heater. Excellent pitch and a late swing. That one's too low. Parker missing. Hey, man, that was a close one right there. He drilled that fastball in nice and low. Just a hair too low. Give the hitter credit for laying off that one. One-two pitch coming. Hit on the ground. Moss picks it up. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the bag. Good hustle off the mound. And it's Melky Cabrera in the box now. Well, not the season the Blue Jays were hoping for in 2012, but they had a pretty strong team at home. A 41 and 40 mark for them here in the Rogers Center. Definitely something for them to build on with this fortified roster. Cabrera will foul that one away. Going back to uh, the Blue Jays, what Steve was talking about, the problem for them last year, pitching, and that came to the forefront at home. They struggled to keep the base. Head up the middle. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Well, with one out here and a guy on first base, the last thing you want to do is hit into a double play. Let's see if he can stay away from that. Now batting with one down, Jose Bautista. Jose Bautista has arguably been the best source of power in the majors over the last few years. 54 homers in 2010, 43 and 11. 27 was uh, leading the way last year when he got injured. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. Going back to Bautista, fans got what they wanted last year when they saw him compete in that home run derby. He had finished second, but man, did he crush some balls. I mean, to call him a late bloomer with power is just an understatement. Before his breakout season in 2010, the most home runs he ever hit was 16 with the Pirates in 2006. No doubt he's an elite power hitter now, though. He fouls that one off. Bautista, there's another foul ball. Well, you're told with an 0-2 count to spread out your stance and to choke up on the back. Oh, and there goes Cabrera. The grounder to Moss. Oh, and that one eats him up. Oh, and they take off trying to get extra bases. And he throws it away. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, Colby Rasmus is a guy that has a work in progress, but he's made some adjustments in his stance, and now I think he's starting to reach that potential. On its second is Bautista. Cabrera's on at third. Lined, foul towards third. 0-1 offering from Parker. That's up high. Encarnacion lays off. Over his career, a 265 hitter off Oakland. One one pitch a fastball. Cut on missed. One and two. That's a huge swing right there. He was looking for a fastball, but just couldn't quite catch up to it. Great pitch. Swung on, hit. And Cabrera will score. And Bautista comes across. Base hit not. And a big one. Brings in a couple of runs. Now this 
pitch just cuts right over the heart of the plate. The hitter handled it perfectly. Mm. That's one of those where you've uh, you've given in by making a bad pitch and, and really made it much easier for the hitter. Yeah, he's better than that. Bear down. Rasmus is up now. What we're seeing here is just a great push. They've been able to jump out in front here in this ball game. You love to get the other team down early. And this sort of production is just the way you want to start out the game. Swung on. That is hit. It's gobbled up. The second. There's one. And there's two. A double play. Early scoring. That's always a blessing. They get it going here. The Toronto Blue Jays are ahead. Two to nothing. And Moss settles in. Johnson with a windup. It's now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. Watches that one for a called strike. Nothing and two. He likes to try to make contact 0 2 and not get struck out. So that means you can't throw anything too close to the plate right here. Low, Moss lays off. Good patience as Brandon Moss lets that go by for a ball. That'll even up the count. Swing and a miss. Strike three to Brandon Moss. Get a chance to take a look at this slider right here, Gary. Well, I think the guys in the dugout are watching this sequence of pitches and taking notes. And if they are, John, they ought to be. He had the off-speed pitch as a setup pitch and then went for the strikeout using the breaking ball. And a very good combination using timing and location to keep the hitter off balance. Works just like he wanted it to. It's Reddick at the plate. Well, you're talking about a team that nobody had picked to win their division. That's the A's in 2012. They didn't come out of the gate strong, but after a nine-game losing streak,